So at one point, you and Uncle Murder sort of had a back and forth. Uh, I don't think it was really back and forth. I think it was just situations of him wanting to sign to a label. You know what I'm saying? And people getting in the way of what he was doing. You know what I mean? I just think that, you know, certain things got out of hand and, you know, it is what it is. But I don't think I Did never you? had no situations. Nah, I wouldn't call it. You know, I'm from the old school. I wouldn't call none of that shit beef. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, because at one point you guys actually had songs together. Yeah, we were doing songs. Yeah, we were doing songs. I done did a song with everybody that damn near was in Brooklyn. One yeah. time or another. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was hot at that time. You know what I mean? So at one point, whatever you guys had going on got worked out. Um, I don't know. I seen him. I seen him a couple of years ago back. You know what I mean? I ain't never had no issues with nobody, but I mean, you know, I'm always around. So if there's ever an issue, you know, people can address their issue. And you know, I always tell people, man, everybody always get mixed up with the gravy this, gravy and Maino, gravy and Uncle Murder, gravy this, gravy that. Hey, man, gravy ain't never had been hands on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody can say what they want to say, but they ain't never been hands on. You know, other situations, I've seen people get, you know, get touched. I've seen chains get took. I've seen a lot of things happen to a lot of folks. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to them, but it ain't never happened on this end. So, you know, we're going to keep it moving. But I'm here. Okay. I'm around. I'm around. <laughs> okay. And, and what was the whole thing with Mayno about? Because I'd forgotten all about that. Um, I forgot the situation. The si uh, it's just so old, man. I don't know. Fendi had a situation happen and, and things just went left. But that shit corny, man. Nobody, you know what I mean? Nobody got time for the, all that. There you go. Old news then. Yeah, it's, everything's old, man. We in a new world, man. Money making records. That's what we in. That's what you see right here. Money making records, get used to that. Vlad, the first one to show me love. So you know Vlad gonna get all the inter interviews and everything from me. I'm only gonna mess with Vlad. I ain't really doing anybody else because that's my guy from day one. And I just feel yep. like it's a better look to stay loyal, which a lot of you niggas don't do. So I'm gonna stay loyal to my guy. Money making records. OG Mall, that's, that's the new lane. That's the new, that's the new artist that's out. OG Mall, that's what it's about. There we go, there we go. Okay, well, here you are, you know, you're rolling with Fendi, you're doing mixtapes, you're doing DVDs, you're doing a lot of features, you're doing collabs, uh, you show up on the, on the Tupac album, you have a deal, and then on April 26, 2006, you go into Hot 97 to do an interview, and everything goes bad. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, at that time... Things was promised to certain people. Things was getting out of hand. And I don't know, man. Things happened. I got shot. But I wasn't going to let that stop my dream. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to sit there and be like, I got a bullet in me. I'm running to the house. Nah, man. We worked too hard. You know what I'm saying? Me and Finney worked too hard to put too much grind in. Hey, man, we're going to go up here and we're going to murder it. And that's it. Okay. So a shootout happens outside of Hot 97. You get shot. Something uh, like that. Exactly? Something like that. <laughs> okay. You get you get shot somewhere yeah, get in your shot. body. Something like that happened, right? Okay. Uh and then instead of going to the hospital, you actually go up and do the interview with Funk Master Flex. Yeah, I did the interview. I didn't know I was hit. I was probably in shock at the time. Cause uh, there was so much going okay. on. I probably was in shock. Cause the doctor, when I when I went to the hospital and the bullet fell out my arm um, leg into my uh sneaker, he was like, look at this, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, things happen. But at the time, I didn't realize. I heard I heard the shots, but I didn't think I was hit. So you didn't see any blood on your legs or, or anything? Yeah, my sweatpants started leaking. Yeah, after okay. a while, it started leaking. Yeah, but that's after. I'm already up. We already rhyming. We already spitting. Uh, okay. So the, so bullet, like so the bullet went through <laughs> my back and came through my front, but didn't come out yet. So there's no blood. Uh -huh. So the whole time it's in me. So that's why the doctor like, yo, it could have been wiggled, could have went anywhere. It ain't, it didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just lingered there while I was busting, busting rhymes, spitting and all that. Then it finally came out. Then that's when the blood started gushing. I'm sitting there like, oh shit, whoa. You know what I mean? But I done said yo, the rhymes did... already. So what's the dip? You know what? What's the big deal? <laughs> I done rapped already, man. We got it done. Okay. I mean, how does Flex react to you bleeding all over the floor? Oh, that's my guy. He ain't really seen nothing. He ain't really okay. seen, he ain't see, he ain't, he ain't know nothing about it really. After we left the building, he heard and figured it out, but he ain't really seen anything. That's my man. 
Yeah, I mean, I've heard a lot of crazy shit in my day, but, you know, I've heard people doing shows, you know, a couple of days after, you know, Boosie got shot and then did a show a few days later, but I've never heard someone getting shot and then going to an interview right afterwards, doing a freestyle and then going to the hospital. This is completely new to me. Yeah, yeah. Who shot you? <laughs> yeah, l- literally. <laughs> okay. Okay. Was that the first time you've ever been shot? Yeah, absolutely. I don't walk around okay. getting shot. Not me. <laughs> okay. I'm just checking. Yeah. Um, first time. So, I mean, when you realize that you got shot, oh, it was an accidental shot. Uh, for sure. For sure. Okay. All right. So, when you realize, like, damn, I just got shot, like, what, what went over you? Man, I was silly back then, man. Oh, man, I was silly, man. I, 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 um, I had to laugh for it because I was silly. I was like, man, I'm about to be famous. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking crazy back then. Man. I was like, oh, they shot me. I'm about to go to war. We about to shoot and kill anything moving. We about to be hot. Then I see the cameras and the news, people coming. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I was thinking two pockets. I was thinking all type of wild shit. I was about to go crazy. <laughs> well, Fendi like, yo, man, calm it down, nigga. You crazy as hell. Well, uh, I believe, you know, before your situation, there had been another shooting at Hot 97. Couple. Uh, there had been a couple. There the was one with the Noriega. Nori and I think Lil' Kim's entourage. Right, right. You know, then that world, off. world, world, my, my homie world, shout out to my nigga world LG in the building. Uh, the shit with 50, right? Well, yeah, the, the, sh- the shit with game wanting to confront, you know, because 50 had kicked game. Oh, you know, no, not that one. Game was- not that one. A little Kim world husband, world in the shootout with okay. uh, them with 50 and them at the. Oh, at the- yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. After 50, yeah, yeah. 50 had dissed her in a freestyle and then a right. shooting happened right. afterwards. Right. You're right. I, right. forgot, I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah and then the whole fi- the fifty game thing. I'm not sure if that happened before or after. I never. Heard, I don't remember them having a shooting. I do, I, well, well, what had happened was, you know, it always seems to happen on Flex's show. It seems, but uh, what's his name? Fifty had gone on on Hot 97 and announced the game is no longer in G Unit. Game was staying in a hotel nearby, so he got his entourage together to go talk to Fifty about it. And, 50 security was outside when they saw those guys coming. They ended up, you know, shooting. Oh, okay, okay, and, uh, okay. I think I remember something like that. Right. Uh, this was 2005. Whew. 2009s was crazy. 2005, which was right around the same time, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Well, because of the shooting, uh, you end up getting banned from Hot 97 because that was their policy. Yeah, I heard something like that. I, I mean, I heard. I mean, at that time, I heard something like that. I did hear that, but I never wanted to go back up there or went back up there anyway, so it didn't make me no difference. Okay, and it's not like you had big radio singles at the time, anyway. So no, I, like... I was. I just wanted to get out of New York, man. I was. I was. I was chasing other other things, man. I was trying to go to L.A. I was trying to go do some other things at the time, but none none, none of them were acting though. Nothing would do with yeah. acting. Just this different movement. Okay, and did you end up getting dropped from the label because of the yeah, shooting? Yeah, 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 everybody did. Yep, they dropped everything. Yep, absolutely. They started a whole new Warner Chapel, hired a whole new regime, hired Kevin Black, then they fired him, hired a whole, whole other team. It just was crazy. So I just had to find another way out. So I was, on my, um, I was on my way to Charlotte at the time, too, matter of fact, to go start doing some other rapping and some other things and some other mixtapes and some other music, and I had got a call. One of my friends, my man Lorenzo, who called me, hey man, what you doing, bro? I said, man, I'm chilling, man. What's happening? He said, hey man, they're doing a Biggie movie. I'm like, all right, what they got to do with me? He's like, yo, bro, you could play big, man. You need to go try out. I'm like, man, hey, I ain't no actor, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just me. He like, yeah, but you got it, blah, blah, blah. And then from there, I just listened to him. Like, you know what? Let me go see what's going on. I had some other people in my ear. Uh, so I said, let me go. My man Raphael had hollered at me too. You know, some dear people, some dear friends that hollered at me like, yo, go try out for it. So I went down there, went to the casting, seen Beanie Siegel, seen uh, Sean Kingston, seen a whole bunch of people that was there doing their thing, wishing them the best. 
And, you know, let's all just, you know, see what happens. Wait, so Beanie Siegel and Sean Kingston were trying out for the Biggie role as well? Yeah, I've seen, I seen a couple of people. It was a lot of, it was a lot of people trying out for it. Mm. Yeah, a lot okay, any other, any other people that we know about? Do you remember trying off that? Uh, role? not that, not not off the head that I can remember seeing or knowing about trying out. Uh, uh-uh. 